I think I'm really good at entertaining. I think I'm really bad at entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Depends, on, Depends the on the night, man. <laughs> So here we are on the set of Harry, the new talk show. Tell me, tell me what you were going for with the, just with the set itself. Well, I wanted to have a place that felt like a real destination, a place that people could sort of turn on their TVs and feel like they were getting something that was not like their house. Uh, they, they could sort of fantasize about being in some really cool club in New York City. That's what I was trying to do. And I also wanted to have accomplish a lot of things. I wanted to have my band there. So behind you, there's a set with all my, my band that is going to be playing music every day. Obviously, I have a piano here. Um, close proximity to the audience where we can move things around and I can be right next to the audience, or we can sit here, or my piano can move around. I just wanted a lot of flexibility, a set that sounded great, in a place that really made people feel like they were at a party. So you're doing a talk show. What was the, what was the genesis of it. So people over the years have, have asked if I would be interested in doing a talk show. And I always kind of steered away from it because, well, a couple of reasons. One, I didn't want to be a host of a talk show. And two, I didn't feel like I had lived long enough to have any particular point of view or perspective. You know, I was 25, 30 years old. I just didn't feel like I had anything to offer. So the conversation's been out there for a while. So a few years ago, I was introduced to Justin and Eric Stangle. They were the executive producers of Late Show with David Letterman. We were working on another project, and while we were working on that project, we started talking about what would it be like to have a show that featured me, it was built around my skill set and the things that I like to do. Not a talk show, but a show that we're building from the ground up, not, not plugging me into sort of an existing format, but putting out on the table all the things I like to do. I love having conversations with people, celebrities and everyday folks. I love playing music. I love spontaneity. How are we going to do that? So we pitched it to NBC Universal, and I said, it's really important that I'm in New York. It's really important that I have my band. And it is ultimately important that I'm able to be spontaneous. In other words, I don't want to have big production meetings about what I'm doing in the show that day. Mm -hmm. I want to walk out on set and not have any idea what I'm doing until the camera's rolling. I like that feeling of sort of being out of control. And they said, okay, and here we are. And it's kind of a dream come true. Hey everybody, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment if you enjoyed it or if you didn't enjoy it. And for more of the Jess Cagle interview, click on the subscribe button down here. We've got plenty of other great videos for you too. Check them out by clicking on one of these links.